วัสดีครับ Hello everyone What comes to mind first when you think of Thailand To my understanding is the land of tourism because Thailand is the most popular tourist destinations in Southeast Asia It also refers to as the land of Buddhism since It's considered the most widely practiced religions across the country. Buddhism is therefore an important influence on how the Thais behave and think. Most impressive of all is the land of smiles, because of its warm and friendly people who fully believe that a smile always looks more attractive than a frown. Well, in order to better understand Thailand in a short period of time, I will simply split my presentation into five parts: the land of Thailand, the culture of Thailand, the attraction of Thailand, the food of Thailand, and the sports of Thailand. Well, let's go. <laughs> First of all, let's start with the land of Thailand. Thailand, officially the Kingdom of Thailand, and formerly known as Siam, is a country located in Southeast Asia, which is nestled between the a d m i n Sea and the Gulf of Thailand. It shares borders with Myanmar, Laos, Cambodia, and Malaysia. Covering more than 513,000 square kilometers, Thailand is roughly the same size of Sichuan Province in China, and is shaped like a tall tree leaning to the right. Thailand is divided into six regions: northern, northeastern, western, central, eastern, and southern. Thailand, with a population of over 69 million inhabitants, its population is similar to that of Hunan Province. Bangkok is both the capital and the largest city of Thailand. Other sizable cities include Chiang Mai, Udon Thani, g a n c h a n a b u r i Pattaya, and Phuket. It's quite obvious that Thailand's main rivers are j a p y a River and Mekong River, which have had a tremendous impact on the daily lives of the Thai people. And d o i n t h a i n o n g is the highest mountains in northern Thailand. In addition, the tricolor flag of Thailand features five horizontal stripes with the colors red. White and blue. s o n g a n which is celebrated every year on the April 13th, is Thailand's most important festival. Thai currency is called the baht, and its current exchange rate for one Chinese yuan is about 4.6 Thai baht. It's worth mentioning that there are three seasons in Thailand: the cool season. The hot season and the rainy season. However, it seems to me that the three seasons are hot, hotter, and the, the hottest. Anyway, the best time to visit this beautiful country is between November and February, primarily because it rains less and is not too hot during this fall month. Second. Let's take a look at the culture of Thailand. The official religion in Thailand is Buddhism, which is practiced by more than 95% of the population. Thai is the official language, although English is more widely spoken. More importantly. Thais truly love their king and respect the royal family, which is the major aspect of Thailand's cultural identity. We should point out that Thai lifestyle is deeply rooted 
in Thai culture, more polite, slow-paced, and easy-going. In view of this, having a better understanding of Thai culture taboo can truly help us easily gain respect from Thai people. Number one, hand. Don't use your left hand to shake with others or pass on items. People in Thailand often associate the right hand as a symbol of nobility. Number two, head. Don't touch the heads of Thai people. The head of a person is seen as the most spiritual part of the body, and you should never touch it. Number three, money. Don't step on money in Thailand. It's considered an incredibly disrespectful behavior because there's a king's image on it. Number four, monk. Don't touch a monk, especially for females. It's totally forbidden. Yet having a polite and respectful conversation with him is perfectly all right. Number five, shoes. Don't wear shoes when you visit a temple or someone's house. Our feet are considered dirty, since they are the lowest part of the body. Third, let's talk about the attractions of Thailand. In fact, it's not easy to plan a dream trip in Thailand. Since there are many world-class tourist attractions to visit there, even so, I still suggest that Bangkok should appear at the top of your priority list. For example, the Grand Palace is a beautiful historic complex of buildings. Wat Phat Gao is known for its huge reclining Buddha. And the Jiapia River runs through the heart of the city and doubles the charm of Bangkok. Apart from Bangkok, the Ayutthaya Historical Park in Central Thailand is worth a visit, which was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1991. In Northern Thailand, Chiang Mai, known as the Rose of the North, is picturesque. And serves as the center of the tourism in the north. In Western Thailand, Kanchanaburi is well known for the World War II history, and the major tourist destinations associated with it, such as the Dead Railway and the River Kwai Bridge. Yet, once you are tired of a land beneath your toes, your next step. Should be Pattaya, a charming coastal city in eastern Thailand. The beaches there are covered with a forest of umbrellas and lounge of chairs for tourists to relax in the sun. Then slide down the Thai Malay Peninsula in southern Thailand. Then classic stops include the notable islands such as Koh Dai, Koh Phangan. Koh Samui and Koh Phi Phi. However, the largest island is Phuket, which is connected to the mainland by two bridges. Fourth, let's move on to the food of Thailand. As far as I'm concerned, Thailand. Is not only the tourist destination, but also a food paradise. With its many flavors, Thai food is regarded as one of the best in the world. Pad Thai or rice noodles is prepared with shrimps, eggs, onions, tofu, and peanuts. Other famous dishes, including khao pan gai or steamed chicken rice. Khao ka mu or steam the rice with the pig's feet, and gan khao wan thai or Thai green curry, 
Unlike Indian curry, Thai curry relies heavily on the uses of coconut milk. As for Thai soups, Dom Yam Gong or sour prawn soup is my favorite. When I was teaching at Siam University in Bangkok, Thailand, I used to eat Song Dan Thai or green papaya salad almost every single day. In those days, my favorite fruits in Thailand were mangoes, jackfruits, rambutans, mangosteens, oranges, pomelos, durians, bananas, longans, wax apples, kiwi fruits, and pitayas. Last but not least, let's discuss the sports of Thailand. <laughs> To be sure, the most famous national sport in Thailand is Thai boxing, which is quite unique since Thai boxers can use their elbows, knees, and bare feet to kick the opponents. Another national sport played everywhere is a sap tekro, which is similar to volleyball, but played with the feet and a light random ball. In the twenties. Century, Thailand adopted several Western sports, including the football, tennis, swimming, badminton, golf, bowling, and horse racing as well. It's important to note that Thailand has competed at every celebration of the ancient games, and it also hosted the games in 1966. 1970, 1978, and 1998. On the whole, Thai athletes have won a total of 132 good medals and 586 overall medals at 18 time Asian Games. In previous games, the top 10 sports in which Thai athletes won the most medals were shooting. Boxing, sailing, athletics, taekwondo, sub taekwondo, bowling, cycling, badminton, and weightlifting. Okay, okay. I will only scratch the surface of the introduction to Thailand, the tourist mecca for Asia. You need to go there by yourself if you want to know more about it. If so, let me give you a piece of advice before your visit. Do prepare your appetite. The reason is simple, because Thai food is very delicious, or as the Thai people say, "aroi ma." Thanks for watching. If you really like this video, do remember to give us a thumbs up, and have a great day. Kom pum krab. Thank you very much.